We hit 750. Hoodie giveaway is coming up. More details at the end of this video. On this episode of Hillbillies, the Arts and Crafts, we're gonna take this little pile of scrap that you see here. Mind you, this new piece of plate. What do you think? So if you wanna see how we took that pile on that table and turned it into an intake, hillbilly style, this episode's for you. And if you like what you see, subscribe, share, give us a thumbs up, they're free. Goes a long way in helping uh, get the channel out. Build ourselves the intake for our six foot headwater jet stream micro super mini jet. So if that's what you're into, stick around. I'm gonna show you my take on an intake. guys don't have one of these I suggest getting one if you're ever gonna fabricate anything with pipe I call it a pipe tape uh, it's named as a wrap around or a curvo mark either way you wrap it around as long as you keep everything flush and even on the end it gives you a straight line around the piece of pipe or in this case it allowed me to measure the circumference of the pipe I divided it in half so I got a top and a bottom and then I split the difference. Now I'm gonna take and I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use the plasma and cut these triangle backgammon looking pieces out. And hopefully that's enough that I can collapse the pipe and get the contour I need. Got our plate to match. This is intake side. shaft in there I've got it lined up and centered there I've brought it down I've marked four sides it's not gonna matter because you're gonna use a piece of tubing for that seal up there but that gives me a spot for center of hole so we're mocked up here now Everything's in about the place where it needs to be. I'll put a couple more tacks on this. And then I'm gonna knock the back of the boat back off here now. I actually already did, I don't know if you can see that. 
Uh, we're gonna knock the back of the boat back off and start working on our pump plate where it mounts and what we're gonna do for that to make that steel meet the aluminum. So there would have been a time lapse here and me explaining what was going on and of course the time lapse didn't work and I didn't switch the camera back after the time lapse so me explaining going on is some random pictures of me doing funky stuff and funky faces and blah blah blah. So here's my best as you can see jump forward two weeks sorry bit of a spoiler you get to see it already together a little bit but I'm going to try my best not to show you too much here's how to explain what I did the rest from the footage I lost. So the last clip you saw, I was welding on this piece here. Weld on this one, weld on this one, and this piece here. The back of the boat is actually right here where the original back is. This gives you something that you're gonna bolt your pump to. So half inch thick aluminum, we put those pieces in. It allowed us also to keep the bottom of the boat flush as we weld on the extensions for the pump box. Once we had those plates on, it was just as simple as laying the flat bar down it, bolting the flat bar to it, setting the pump on, getting it nice and level, welding her out. No holes here yet. We'll do one more episode on the intake regarding the stomp grate and getting it in the back of the boat. So when we bolt it in for the last time, I'll show you that. But other than that, it's welded out. So I haven't got the dry done yet. Thanks for staying around to the end of the video though. Next video, I promise, if I don't do one just for a giveaway, next video will announce the giveaway of the stickers and the hoodie package. We're gonna have to do something else, I guess. I'm not big enough to give away a boat, but maybe we could build a little mini boat. Or hats. Everybody wants hats, I guess. Thanks for watching. <laughs>